Well, Nick Spicer is in Kiev for us. And Nick, we're hearing that more and more government, government buildings are being seized, the latest one being the Energy Ministry. What are you hearing? Well, the second government ministry has been occupied by protesters in two days. Uh, it is now the energy, uh, the ministry responsible for coal and energy uh, that has been taken over by the demonstrators. Uh, on Friday, it was the minister for Ministry of uh, Agriculture. Uh, but it is uh, at this while six out of seven regional governments have been occupied by, by protesters, a sign of a weakening grip of the central government here in government, which is not just losing ground, but it's losing people. Uh, a good part of the presidential press service has resigned en masse, as well as a handful of members of Viktor Yanukovych's uh, own party of regions uh, party. And much more worryingly, uh, it's reported that three police officers were attacked uh, by protesters, it is believed, and taken hostage inside the city hall building, if that is confirmed. This, the interior ministry certainly thinks uh, it is something that has happened. Uh, then there is a chance that interior ministry troops may storm. City Hall. So, Nick, is there any sign of a deal on the table or a compromise? Well, what the president, uh, Viktor Yanukovych, is offering is a cabinet reshuffle uh, next week on Tuesday, as well as the pardoning or amnestying of some of the protesters, except for those he describes as having committed uh, serious crimes. The prime minister has called the Swiss president to mediate. It's interesting that no European leader is being trusted to mediate, because this is, of course, a big geopolitical struggle in part, quite apart from the internal Ukrainian struggle. Uh, between the European Union and Russia. So Switzerland being called upon uh, to mediate. Europe is looking at this very co closely. It has offered to mediate. The most worrying words coming perhaps from the mouth of the Vice President of the European Commission, Vivian Redding, who says that if Ukraine doesn't take the steps that are needed, it may be on the brink of civil war. Back to you in the studio. Nick, thanks very much. Nick Spicer in Kiev there.